printers are unable to print at the edge of the page. This creates an unwanted white margin around your document. To avoid this issue, you need to add a bleed to each print document you design. Bleeds extend colors and elements past the edge of your document so that it can be printed and trimmed down to size with no unwanted white margin around the edges. This video will go over how to add and export bleeds to Adobe Illustrator files. University Print and Mail Services requires that each document have a 0.125 inch bleed. This is a standard bleed for every print job, including posters, mailers, business cards, etc. Let's start by adding a bleed to a new Adobe Illustrator document. To create a document with bleeds, open Illustrator and click File, New, type in the document size. To add a bleed, go to the bleed section and click on the arrow under the section titled top until you see 0.125 inches. Adjusting the bleed under one section will auto-populate the rest. Now click create. The artboard has been created. You'll be able to tell that a bleed has been added to your document by seeing the red line around the document. Make sure any colors or pictures meant to go to the paper's edge extend past the edge to the red line. Doing so will ensure that there is no unwanted white space when printing. Next, let's add a bleed to an illustrated document that is already designed. Open the document, click File, Document Setup. In the first box next to Bleed, Hit the arrow under top, just once until it reads 0.125 inches. The other boxes will auto-populate. Click OK. The red line around your document shows a bleed has been added. Adjust your document's elements to go to the red line if needed. To export an Illustrator file with bleeds, you need to save the document as a PDF. To do so, go to File, click Save As. Type the file's name and select where it should be saved to. Make sure the format is set to Adobe PDF. Click Save. Click on Marks and Bleeds in the side menu. Under the Marks section, click Trim Marks. Under the Bleed section, click the box next to Use Document Bleed Settings. Click Save as PDF. That's it! Now you can email the PDF to your project coordinator for printing.